Yo, what up guys, welcome back to another video. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you 5 methods to fixing your game from crashing or not starting on Steam. This is only for Steam, and I have 5 delicious methods for you. Either way, let's get started. So you want to open up Steam, of course. You want to go to your library, and you want to pick out any game that's not really working for you. I'm going to do BeamNG Drive as an example. So, you want to right click on that game, you want to go down to Properties. You want to go down to Local Files, and then verify integrity of game files. Now there's going to be this loading bar so you just want to let that finish and then try playing your game from there. Also this may take a while depending on the size of the file. So this is 18 gigabytes. So it may take a little bit of time. Alright, so once it's finished, it should come up with a little tab saying it's finished and then you just want to close it and you want to run your game to see if it works. Now, if that doesn't work, the second method is, is you want to right click on it again, you want to go properties and you want to go to browser. So you want to actually open up your files for that game and you just want to find your BeamNG Drive application from there and just run it from there like normal. And that should open it up. If that doesn't work, then you should try, while in here, this is method 3, you want to right click and run as admin and accept the fact that it's probably going to make a little bit of changes, but either way, after running it through admin mode, you want to see if it still runs from there, so if that doesn't work, if method 1, 2 and 3 don't work, what you can do is this. Now this, you have to remember your password, if you don't remember your password, I don't recommend doing this. But either way, what you want to do now is you want to go up to Steam, you want to go down to Settings. You want to go all the way down to Downloads, and you want to clear Download Catch. Once you've clicked that, it's going to, I'm pretty sure, reset your Steam and you have to log back in, if I'm correct. If if not, then I'm pretty sure we're fine. Alright, so it looks like I'm, I'm a bit wrong. You do have to remember your password and all that, so um, put your password in and um, see if your game can load in after that. So after you've logged in, what you want to do now is you want to go over to your library, or you can go just go up to games and then view games library, and then you want to pick out the game you wanted to play and see if you can play it. Now, I do have one more method. This is method 5. I do have one more method, but it's a bit risky to do. Um, it's not that risky, it's just that it might make your Steam crash, so um, we'll do it either way. But uh, what you want to do now is you want to get out of the game. If none of methods 1, 2, 3 and 4 worked for you, method 5 surely should help and fix the problem. So now what you want to do is you want to right click your taskbar, yours is probably like on the bottom, like almost everyone in the world. Or if you're different, you're going to have it on the top, left or right, either way. You want to right click your taskbar, you want to go task manager. Now, you're not going to get something like this, you're probably going to get something like this, which is basic and boring. What you want to do, if you get a little task manager like this, you just want to, you just want to click more details. And all this is going to pop up. So what you want to do now is, you want to try and find Steam client, you can just end task it here, just end task it from up there. So now what you want to do is, you could restart your PC just in case, or you could just open up Steam again and uh, see if it works. Alright, that's about it. There's one more method, but it's not really on the list, it's more of a little reminder. Just in case these games don't run, try and update your graphics card. That's probably one of the issues, or Windows updates possibly. That's about it. I uh, hope you guys liked this video. Please like and sub. You don't need a comment. You can if you want. But most of all, please share the content. Because I would like to help more people in the future. I wouldn't mind, but I'd also like to have more of an audience in the future. Either way, I'll see you guys in the next video. And that's about it for this one.